what up YouTube next on things that I had to do on my truck the drive shaft carrier bearing because look at this guy nice and floppy so yep it's time to get that off and uh, I gotta say I watched a video on YouTube myself uh, I think the guy's name was fun junkie four-wheel drive garage or something like that and the guy did it in one take very impressed with that so kudos to you brother because you gave me the confidence to come and try this out so if everything works out like he did i should be able to do this in about 30 minutes so uh let's try it i'm not gonna do it in one shot like he did but uh let's start with uh taking off these bolts trucks in the air right now so let's, let's do it all right so we're just following exactly what he did i put some pv blaster on there just to kind of help us out here but uh these things are on there extremely tight i haven't done this top one yet so let's see righty tighty lefty lucy so we need to go up so we need to go this way i'm gonna use my leg to get it loose So that's how I did all of them. Just use my leg as leverage and loosen them all up. So now that we have that done, I'm gonna pull all these bolts off, drop the carrier bearing, uh, and I'll show you that in a second. All right, so I left the last bolt on there because I don't want that thing to just drop on my face if I took down the carrier bearing. So, anyway, we're gonna put a jack stand. Right there, just for shits and giggles. Nice and easy. What about the other one? Alright. Drop this guy nice and easy. Alright. Take out this last bolt. So, if we continue to follow the video as he's done, all we gotta do is tap this with a hammer, maybe, and it should separate. Let me go get my hammer. Looks like whoever worked on this last didn't uh, indent the nut. This has like a little space where you strike it and it'll keep it from backing off, but no one did that here. Anyway, this is a 24 millimeter. Um, I marked it here and here because that's what the guy did in the video because that's exactly the orientation we want to put this uh, back on. Um, so let's get this guy off real quick. See if our bearing comes out nice and easy. If not, we're gonna have a bad time. There it is. Nut came off. Okay, we had a spacer. Don't forget that. I'm gonna put that aside right there. Let this come out easy. Yes, it does. Nice. All right, so put that there. Oh, we're lucky this will just slide out on us. Oh. <laughs> 
Oh, look at that. <laughs> All right, looks like we're gonna have to strike this from the back. Hopefully it's not seized on us. Be, wet. Be back with you in a second. All right, so luckily I've just uh, got a pry bar behind here and just kind of pushed it down and it came out. So, uh, no, doesn't look like there's any spacer here, but uh, definitely super worn out. We're going to clean this up, put some anti-seize on there, put the new bearing on, and then uh, get back to assembling shit. All right, so here's a comparison real quick of the two bearings. Here's the one I took off of my truck. Obviously, just the housing pretty much. Uh, this is the bearing. Uh, this is the new bearing. This is a doorman bearing. Um, this looks like it has a mark for F for the front. It's going that way. Um, so it looks pretty similar for the most part. I already kind of put it up to the top and it looks like it fits fine. Um, and it says to grease these little areas here before putting it onto the truck. So that's what I'm gonna do. Um, other than that, we're gonna put some anti-seize on uh, that right there and uh, put this bearing on and uh, get going with the assembly. I'm a little skeptical of how easy this has been so far, but um, so the arrow with the F is pointing that way to the front of the vehicle. The two holes were in the, are pointing up because that's the orientation that I took it off on. I lined up this flange with the uh, marking that I did on the drive shaft and on the flange. And now this is the 24 millimeter nut with the spacer. We're gonna get this torqued down and then uh, strike it right here in, at the indentation so that it doesn't back off. So let's do that and then uh, We'll get back to mating this. Let me check the torque spec on that. All right, I found a torque value for this. It was 133 foot-pounds. Let's see if I can... Uh strike this with the camera in the way. There it is. All right. All right, for this next step, it looks like uh, this guy wrestled the uh, drive shaft together. So <laughs> let's Hopefully we don't have to do that too, too crazy, but let's see. That's one. That's one. Let's get the other ones going. So there's the second one and you get the idea. I'm gonna do the other ones and then put the carrier bearing up. Those uh, propeller shaft uh, bolts went in there pretty easy. I'm kind of blown away of 
how smooth this install is going, but uh, you know, that's always jinxing yourself. Anyway, I'm gonna get this guy up now. So far, so good. I know that the torque value for these guys is 54 foot pounds. Um, I'm not sure how I'm gonna even do that because I can't even get a socket in here. So maybe I'll just do it as hand, like as tight as I could with my hands. I think these ones are 30 foot pounds. I'll double check that, but um, yeah, let's get going with that. So I'm just going to go around and tighten all these up. I'm going to grab my fixed wrench here in a second so that I can get as much torque on these as I can by hand. Uh, but yeah, I mean, this is probably one of the smoothest installs I've had on the truck. So... Thank you, fun junkie, four wheel drive garage guy. It was uh, thanks to you, brother, that I was able to do this pretty easy. So thanks a lot. A um, couple more maintenance videos coming up for this truck. Check out the Instagram page, Dr. Underscore Omiz and the Dirtbag Garage. See you on the next one.